Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel, and yes, I am so sorry that I missed yesterday's Mythic Monday. I was out of town, but hey, let's do Mythic Tuesday. I've got some stuff to talk about. If Saturday morning cartoons fueled your imagination as a kid and powers your action figure collecting now as an adult, then you're in the right place. Thanks for stopping by, and welcome to Saturday Morning Toy Collector. And if you like my content, please consider subscribing. Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Yes, I did miss Mythic Monday. Uh, I was out of town. This whole weekend has been absolutely crazy the last four days has just kind of been a whirlwind for me um it started on friday morning when me and my bestie uh we uh we we uh, headed up to atlanta uh, to meet uh two of our really good friends and uh we spent uh friday uh just kind of hanging out hitting some toy shops uh doing some toy hunting and then um eating some good food having some good drinks and then on saturday we spent the day at uh atlanta comic-con which i've never been to before and i was pleasantly surprised it was a really really fun event um it was kind of a whirlwind we just kind of were there for the day and then i had to be back home uh five hours south of atlanta um friday night i mean saturday night so it was a it was a really long day we got in some really good uh events though while we were there we all got to go meet uh, Anthony Daniels, um, one of the last surviving members of the original cast of Star Wars, plays C-3PO in every, uh, uh, every time you've ever seen him on screen, that's who's been in the suit. He was super nice and gracious with his time. He was a really, really good dude, and a good friend of mine was able to get a C-3PO signed by him, so that was really cool as well. I also got a chance to meet John Bernthal, one of my like acting heroes. I just love this guy. He is fantastic in every single thing that he's been in, from The Walking Dead to The Punisher, of course to uh, Fury, to Call of Duty, um, but most recently, I'm loving him in The Bear. Uh, that, that The Bear is like my favorite new show on TV, and I absolutely love it. He kills it as Mikey, and, um, and you know, let it rip uh, if you watch The Bear. So uh, that was really cool. We got, we, you know, we had a lot of fun, but let me tell you, I did pick up a few things, and this is how we're going to make it all Mythic Legions uh, related, because I'm going to bring it all back around to Mythic Legions, of course. So right when we walked in, literally, literally, we the doors open, we walk in, and the very first shop that I see, the first vendor I see off to my left, was, I believe, a place called Ginger Kid Toys. I believe that was the name of the place. Um, they're a, a, a father and son uh, toy shop. Uh, I think they're located somewhere in Georgia. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Um, but anyway, I walked right in the front door and they had a whole bunch of mythics there. And I had my buddies with me and none of them collect mythic legions. Okay. But um, I walked straight up to the, the you know, the very first uh, little wall of mythics and um and I was like, hey, I think I'm going to pick up IS. You know, I was like, there, here's a really good time for me to pick up IS. Uh, I've been wanting this guy um, for a while, and uh, I finally got a chance to get him. So I was like, I'm going to snatch him up real quick. I'm going to grab him um, for sure. I'm definitely going to spend some money on that guy. But um, my best friend was there with me, and I was like, dude, you really got to check out these mythics. He's like, yeah, I've been interested. I've been watching your videos. You know, I'm really interested in it. And I was like, well, if you're going to get one, let me show you the one I would get as my very first. First mythics and I and I handed him Dubon. I think Dubon is great. He's got that really cool hood. He's got the wired cape. He comes with a bird. He's got tons of accessories. Like he is just like for me. I think he's a great like entryway into the mythics universe. And I was like, definitely give this a shot. Pick this figure up if you want to grab one. And he did. He bought Dubon, and I was like pleasantly surprised. And uh, that was really really cool. Now uh, of course none of the uh, um, Authorized vendors there, uh, retailers of Four Horsemen stuff, had any of the Poxus Wave. All of them had them in, uh, in their shops, respective shops, but until, you know, they're not street dated until the 16th, which is this Friday. So uh, none of them had them for sale, uh, sadly. But a lot of the vendors was, you know, really excited about them, said they'd been looking at them, checking them out, and playing with them, and having a lot of fun. So we hit up another vendor down the way, and um, they had a little more in stock than the first vendor did, and I picked up another Valiant Knight. 
I love these guys. This is like my third one. I've been, I've, I used the first two for customs, and now I finally have just a Valiant Knight just to throw on my shelf, and um, that was really cool as well. And so again, I was like, hey, you know, if you want a really good bad guy to fight, you know, Debon here, try, you know, um, you know, these different, I was like showing him all these different, um, you know, quote unquote villains. I was like, you use this as a villain. This guy would be really cool. Maybe get Dubon's horse. And, you know, he was looking at some other things and, um, and I, but he passed on him. I thought, okay, that's cool. He's going to get the Dubon. He's already got Dubon. You know, that's his one figure and, and we're good to go. And, uh, and, 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 you know, he kind of passed on some more mythics and, and that, that's cool because my, my best friend in the whole world he got into mythics. That was like killer. That was really awesome. And uh, and then, you know, we kind of separated. We'd each kind of like break off into little groups or whatever. And we'd walk around uh, throughout the day. And then we'd reconvene um, because the space wasn't so huge that you couldn't just bump into each other again. And uh, and so later in the day, he came back around and he's like, dude, I got another mythics. And I'm like, what did you get? And he got Mephitor, which was really, really cool. He's a huge uh, Stinkor fan from Masters of the Universe. And so uh, he picked up Mephitor which is fantastic because I don't even have Mephitor. So I was telling him about how like the head sculpt was actually, you know, um, uh, repainted from Thistlethorn and how Thistlethorn is like kind of hard to get and hard to come by, uh, on the secondary market. I don't even have one. And, uh, and, and so, uh, that was really cool to see him get a chance, uh, to, uh, pick that up. So, um, he's probably going to come over, you know, in, the, you know, another week or two, I'll sit down. I told him like, come over, sit down with all my box of fodder, all of my hands and weapons and shoulder pauldrons and extra heads and armor and all kinds of stuff and uh, just sit and play with them and see how they customize and how you can pop and swap everything and I think he's really going to get into it and um, that's really cool. I may have another uh, buddy to go to Mythic uh, Legions Con with this year. Um, but uh, another little uh, side story is that uh, another good friend of mine here in town who's part of my toy collecting group, he also is not a Mythic Legions collector. He, uh, he's been very standoffish. He loves super highly articulated um, posable action figures for like photography and things like that and uh, so my buddy Scott has not had any mythic legions at all but our group you know there's several of us that collect mythic legions and so we were like sharing some of the upcoming figures and so we were sharing with him the Zolocon like warrior beasts exclusive figure um, for Zolocon which is happening here in just a couple of weeks and uh, he was like oh man I really love that old Remco figure and so he pre-ordered and he is going to be getting that so I have another friend that's going to be getting his first mythics and so I'm just down here spreading the good word of uh, the Four Horsemen and uh, just sharing the love of Mythic Legions and Cosmic Legions um, with everybody around. But that doesn't explain why I was out Sunday and Monday. But uh, but anyway, yeah, just as a side note, uh, we rushed home from Atlanta, finally got back into town. And then we, uh, my family and I headed over to some family's house for the weekend uh, Saturday, I mean Sunday and Monday for Super Bowl. So we had a big Super Bowl party Sunday night and then we just got back yesterday afternoon. So that's why I was out of pocket and didn't get a video done yesterday. And then we will return to our regularly scheduled reviews tomorrow. Uh, a little bit of sip of coffee because yes, I do know how to take my IS. Uh, so, uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. I super appreciate it. Please continue to check us out on Instagram at Saturday Morning Toy Collector. I am your Saturday Morning Toy Collector. I'm your host, Mark, and I will see you in the toy aisles.